You know, we have met some amazing local authors through the years. Just last week, Daniel P.T. Thomas talked about his book, The Come Here from Wales to Shinkatee Island. Not long before that, we met author Ruby Dillon, who wrote about weight loss in The Losers. Uh, back in February, author B.B. Champ turned us on to her book, Third Haven, a novel of deceit. The list just goes on and on. Now, all of these books and more from local authors can be found at an indie bookstore that just opened in Berlin. It's called The Greyhound. And as I found out in the few short months it's been open, The Greyhound has proven it's just what Berlin needed. This building has been in Susan Ayers Wimbrose family for generations. My great great grandfather built it in 1895. But it wasn't until 2018 that Susan opened up an indie bookstore in what was a hat shop many years ago. Where we are sitting, where the bookstore is, was my great aunt's millinery shop. She went to Wanamaker's, learned how to make hats, and came back here, and it was her millinery shop. The hats are long gone, but the walls are stacked floor to ceiling with adventures, romance, history, fantasies, anything and everything that will spark the imagination. Books have always held a special place in Susan's life, starting as a young girl. Reading was such a joy for me, and my uh, books became my friends. And so I have read ferociously throughout the years. But it wasn't until Susan retired from owning and working in funeral homes that she wrote her first book, Death is My Life, a collection of unique and somewhat bizarre stories from her first career. I took stories and I, I turned them a little bit. There's a creative uh, turn and twist on them, changed the names to protect the innocent, of course, and I wrote about them. And then the first part of the book is nonfiction. My mother was killed in a bizarre crime, and I wanted to educate the public on what happens to the family, the nucleus of a family, when a murder takes place in in a family. Opening the Greyhound has been a labor of love for Susan and her husband, and an education for some customers. An indie bookstore is independent, and that means I am carrying a lot of authors um, who have self-published. They're independent. A lot of people don't know what an indie bookstore means, or indie in itself. I had a lady come in the other day, and she asked me if, if I was from Indiana. And there are many independent authors in the area. We have a lot of retirees in the area um, on Delmarva. And um, so from Delaware, Eastern Shore of Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, and I carry those. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're retired from Washington, New York, New Jersey, Baltimore, and so we are trying to promote them. That doesn't mean you won't find mainstream titles here. We have uh, New York Times bestsellers, um, and uh, so we're, we're carrying them all, but uh, we are focused on the indie. The Greyhound carries children's books, too, which are found in the Aesop's Fables room. Children can come in to browse and sample books from local independent authors, as well as some of the best sellers for young readers. Many local authors take part in author signings on Saturdays from noon to three. Susan says the Greyhound bookstore is thriving, and she thinks it's because the pendulum is swinging back to books on paper. I have every day um, someone will walk in and thank us for opening an indie bookstore and they tried to read on the tablet and some still do, but they want that tactile feel and they want a book in their hands and they want to touch and, and feel and smell the book. So it's, it's nice that these little indie bookstores have popped up, up all over uh, the nation and they are pretty hot right now and that's wonderful. For Susan, the Greyhound represents two dreams that have come true, the dream to write a book and the dream to own an indie bookstore. It all kind of fell into place and uh, yeah, it's been a great, great ride. We are having a blast here promoting the arts. And you may have noticed some of the artwork that hangs on the walls at the Greyhound. Susan says she also carries local artwork for purchase. And Jimmy, the name Greyhound comes from Susan and her husband's love of Greyhound dogs, specifically those have been, that have been rescued from the dog racing industry. Uh, they work to raise public awareness to the need for good homes for Greyhounds throughout the country. Now that's pretty cool. That is cool. That is pretty cool.